Oh, the Navy says both engines went out moments before this fiery crash of an F-A-18 back in April. That's a major part of the findings released today about how this disaster unfolded at the Mayfair Muse Apartments in Virginia Beach. Then in your sides, Art Kahn is at NAS Oceana with more on what the Navy said a short time ago. Art? Yeah, hey, Tom, as I said earlier, you know, the Navy conducted, no doubt, a very thorough investigation, and they seem to know what happened. They're just not sure how it happened. But one thing they are not uncertain about, investigators, in fact, are very certain about the actions of the crew. Just five seconds into the flight, the crew experienced vibrations they thought were caused by a flat tire on the landing gear. They were wrong but investigators say it was still a good guess at the time. The air crew's assessments were reasonable and their actions were appropriate given the indications that they had. They were not derelict in their responsibilities. However, had the pilot known there was a problem with the right engine, he might have been able to prevent the crash according to naval commanders. If the air crew had raised the landing gear, jettisoned the external tank, and precisely managed their airspeed, this change in configuration could have kept the aircraft flying but everything was happening in seconds, and once they began emergency procedures for a problem with the landing gear, there was no time to regroup, and really very little that could have been done at that point. There are no immediate action procedures that specifically address this type of combined malfunction that results in loss of thrust on both engines during takeoff. There is no dispute about the heroic actions of the crew ejecting from their plane at an altitude of just 50 feet in order to protect life and property on the ground. They waited until the last possible second. Had they waited probably another second, um, we don't know what the outcome would have been. Yeah, and when they talk about they don't know what the outcome would have been, not only could we have lost the pilot and the crew member of that aircraft, there could have been more death, there could have been somebody killed on the ground or injuries. So when you look back on that part of it, the investigation, you have to give the crew a lot of credit, as everyone has all the way from the start. Now, for some of the other details about this investigation, there is still an engineering review board and an accident mishap board that are still looking into a lot of what went on. But however, as badly as that plane was burned during the crash, much of the evidence was destroyed, and this may be all we ever know about it. Dom, back to you. All right, thank you. Art Kahn reporting live from NAS Oceana.